War is coming. War is coming, man. And all these empires, like the uh, Assyrian Empire, the Babylonian Empire, right? Uh, the Greco Roman Empire, Rome, they all fell. They all fell, man. The Most High gave them a, a certain time to be in power. Now, the time of America to be in power is almost up. It's almost up, man. And America is the modern day Rome. It's the modern day Rome. America will be destroyed. Thus says the Lord, man. Have fun. Have fun in your strip clubs. Have fun in your clubs. America will be destroyed. Thus says the Lord. Thus says your heart will share me out shot, man. Because that's what niggas like to do. Niggas. Love to have fun, man. Niggas love to have fun. Smoking weed. Smoking all the different cigarettes. Committing all oh, oh, being faggots. Hate this place, man. You think we're supposed to be happy? Let me get a scripture real quick, man. Let me get a scripture. Let me get a scripture, man. We signed the crime for all the abomination that's going on, man. Right? Ezekiel 9. Ezekiel 9. And Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city. Right through the midst. We're in the midst of the city. He said, go over here. Come over here. Right? The midst of Jerusalem. It's a people before it's a place. The real Israelites are Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. Those are the real Israelites. Those are the real Jews. Not the white people in Israel right now. They am like they stole that land from us. And set a mark upon their foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all abomination that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said, In my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Yeah, those are two-third niggas. Two-third niggas don't have pity. Right? The angels gonna come and kill these niggas, man. Because they traitors of Israel. Because uh, two-thirds don't want this kingdom to go down, man. So the most I gotta eradicate two-thirds of our people, man. They gonna come back in the kingdom. They gonna come back. That sigh and that cry for all abomination that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, go ye after him to the city and smite. Let not your eyes fear, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. That's right. Women are going to be, uh, going to be destroyed, man. They're going to be ravaged when all hell break loose in America. A lot of your women and your children are going to be killed. Thus says the Lord. You better find a good, strong man in these last days. All right? It said, women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin in my sanctuary. Then they began as the ancient men, which were before the house. That's right, because the most likely short traders among our people also. You know, the ones that was once in the truth and fell out, the most high gonna destroy y'all niggas, man. The most high gonna destroy y'all niggas. He's gonna start in the sanctuary first, man. You won't see niggas dropping dead. Damn. Oh, pray to Yahweh, shame me a shalom. Shalom, Barak, the There ain't no shalom in your heart, man. There ain't no peace in your heart, man. You trying to throw your brother, you trying to take your brother down. You trying to take your brother down, man. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. But war is coming, man. War, war is coming to American soil. War is coming. 
and women's going to be killed, young children going to be killed, older elderly is going to be killed in these last days, man. This is the year of prophecy. This is not the year to get comfortable. Welfare is going to be taken away. Rent is going to be taken away. Your house is going to be taken away. They already got United Nations Army prepared to come to America, man. And it's going to come in your hood. These other nations are going to come in your hood, man. You too comfortable, nigga. You too comfortable. The American dollar is finished. That's why your food prices is, is rising in your supermarkets. You don't see what's going on? Food is going to continue to go up because the United States dollar is the value. United States dollar don't have no more weight. United States currency don't have no more weight. That's why they gonna push the RFID chip on y'all niggas. On all y'all Americans, man. The RFID chip is coming to America, man. The dollar's gonna be done away and they gonna chip your right hand on your forehead. They show you the movies. Y'all don't watch movies, niggas? They show you the movie what they gonna do. The RFID chip is coming, man. The United States dollar is have sunk it, man. This is going to be worse than the Great Depression. It's going to be worse than the Great Depression. According to the Bible, they're going to eat your own children, man. Because there ain't going to be no more McDonald's. There ain't going to be no more KFC. There ain't going to be no more Popeyes. All of us going to be taken away from y'all niggas, man. What you going to do? When the Lord come to pay your visit. Cannibalism is coming to America, man. Yeah, you're going to eat your woman up. Yeah, you're going to eat her literally. You wicked bastards. Yep. We got to preach the word, man. In season and out of season, man. Ain't no stopping to this, man. We've been called. To the line of duty. We've been called to the army of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. And we gotta preach the truth. Because we know the truth is gonna set you free. You can do all the jogging you want, man, but you can't escape the missiles that Russia, Russia is gonna shoot up your ass. You can do all the jogging you want, man. Right? Can't stand these damn Edomites, man. Can't stand them. Uh, let me get Isaiah 24. Let's rock with Isaiah 24. Man, I love being out here, man. This is the love. It's the love of the truth, man. And the scripture said that in Revelation, man. Don't lose that first love. Don't lose it. You understand? Get that scripture real quick. Uh, Revelation 2, verse 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent. You met a man for seven times, then he get back up. But the most high said to do, they are fallen and repent and do the first work. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick out of his place. It says, God, repent. You don't want the most high to take that candlestick away from you, man. You don't want the most high to take that candlestick away from you, man. You don't want the most high to take that knowledge away from you, man. Because you're going to bug out. Yeah, keep jogging, keep jogging. Keep jogging. All right, I think that's an Israelite. I'm going to say she's going to be a good cocky mom, but I think she's an Israelite. You understand? And these women are starting to look good, man, for, you know, for all hell break loose, man. Because these women are going to get ravished, man. They're going to get ravished. Let's get that. Let's get that. Right? Another word for ravish is rape. Right? Let's get that real quick. 
Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13. Their children also, the verse 16, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. These white women and these other nations that are looking good, they're going to be ravished, man. They're going to be ravished. They're going to be raped. You understand? The time is coming, man. That's why we always come out and say, let me get it real quick. Let me get it. Let me get that, man. Matthew 3, verse 2, and say, repent, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Repent, turn back. Change your life around, man. Turn your life to your how about shame, your how shy, man. All right? Let's get that real quick. Let's get that real quick, man. Love being out here, man. Love being out here. All right? Don't lose that first love, man. Huh? Don't lose the first love. Preach it. Right? It said, um, ba, 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 ba. James 1, verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brother, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the hour. Wherefore, lay upon all filthiness, and superfluity. Superfluity means unnecessary things. Unnecessary things. You got a car, but you want a luxurious. You should be happy of what you got. You know, you got you got a, a little condo, but you want a, a four bedroom house, man. That's unnecessary right now, man. Focus on this. Focus on this. La palabra de Dios. Primero, primo. All right? Alright, it said, um, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engraved word which is able to save your soul. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your, your own self. Don't be only a hearer, but be a doer. If you have young brothers out there have this knowledge, you have been. Y'all been absorbing this knowledge for like three to six months, man. Put in your garment and go out there, man. Go out there. If you gotta go out there by yourself, fuck it. Go out there by yourself, man. If you gotta go out there with your son, go out there with your son or sons. Go out there, man. I fear you how but shame y'all shot. That's why I'm out here, man. I'm not here to please men. I'm here to please your hour. Bahashem, Yahweh Shad, man. That's who I fear, man. I fear him with all my heart. I don't care how much labels y'all put on Brother Bakar. But it's one thing you cannot say about Brother Bakar, he don't have that fear. He has the fear. Yeah, he has that fear, man. And that's what I do what I do. Right? Let's get that. Let's get that, man. All right? Let's get that real quick. All right? Ecclesiastes. Now, my bad. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Pro uh, beginning of Proverbs. All right? Proverbs 1, verse 7. The fear of your hour is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. That's why we all out here for the elect, for the remnant of the house of Israel, man. We're not out here for everybody. We're not out here for everybody, man. Right? But you gotta have, have that fear, man. You gotta have that fear. Alright? Let's go to Proverbs 4. Proverbs 4. Sorry, Proverbs 14.
Proverbs 14, verse 26. In the fear of Yahweh with strong confidence, and the children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of Yahweh is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. Now, if you depart, man, that's the snares of death. <laughs> Don't depart from the truth, man. Don't depart from the truth. Alright? Alright? Let me bring out uh, Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus, real quick. 21 of 11. Ecclesiasticus 21 11. He that keep the law of Yahweh gets the understanding thereof. And the perfection of the fear of Yahweh is wisdom. The perfection of fear of Yahweh is what? It's wisdom. Once you have that fear of the Lord, man, He gonna grant you wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, man. These scriptures are all I got, man. I live by the word, man. This word is everything. You understand? This word is everything. I put my trust in the Lord, man. I put my trust in the Lord. That's how I'm able to eat, breathe, sleep, talk. Because of him. You gotta count your blessing every day, man. There's a lot of brothers and sisters thinking about talking about what they don't have. You gotta focus on what you do have. You gotta you bless them for what you do have. You have life. You able to breathe. You able to talk. Stop being so ungrateful, man. Stop being so ungrateful, man. Life is precious, man. Life is precious. So stop crying and whining of what you don't have. And be a joy of what you do have. Stop bitching. As they always say. Stop bitching, man. Stop crying. You understand? Let me get out of scripture, man. Let me get out of scripture. Alright? That's how we rock, man. We rock up. Thus says the Lord. That's how we rock. All right, yeah, brothers, I did bear with me. All right, Ecclesiastes nine. Ecclesiastes nine, verse four. It said, "For to him that is joined to all the living, there's hope. There's hope. You're alive. There's hope. For a living dog, for a living dog is better than a dead lion." Boy, a living dog is better than a dead lion, man. Yeah, a lion, when he's alive, he's more powerful than a dog, man. A lion weighs about what? Maximum of 500 pounds? And he got a jaw that could crush, uh, 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 crush a dog instantly? But the scripture said, a live dog is better than a dead lion, man. Huh? So you have life. Appreciate the life that you do have, man. Huh? And stop whining and pouting of what you don't have. You understand? Yep. Man. Alright. Alright, so let's go to um, I think it's Isaiah 10, I believe. Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10. Oh, I got it. My bad. Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure, man. Because wisdom and knowledge is going to keep is going to stabilize you. Wisdom and knowledge is going to stabilize you, man. And it's truth, man. You know? And wisdom is everything, man. Huh? Wisdom is everything. I think wisdom in Hebrew is um, kamaf or da'if, one of the two. I think knowledge is da'if. Right? Um, yeah, man, so let me get the scriptures. Let me go back to what I was talking about. The economy, man. The economy is all shot up. The economy is all messed up, man. This is... Uh, Jeremiah 46, verse 11. 
Uh, let me start at 10. It said, for this is the day of your hour of hopes, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries. And a sword shall devour, and it shall be satiated, and made drunk with their blood. But your whole power of hosts has a sacrifice in the north country by the river of Euphrates. Right? There's going to be a lot, a lot of dead bodies over there in the Middle East when that war takes place out there in the Middle East, man. Right? Go up into Galilee and take Baal, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shall thou use many medicines, for thou shall not be cured. That's right. What's, what's, what's one of the medicines? Like quantitative ease in one, quantitative ease in two, quantitative ease in three, and like um and like um uh, uh, the chairman of the Federal Reserve on uh, Greece, man, he said uh, we are in a bond market bubble that's be beginning to unwind. Interest rate have been ri uh, risen. Prices are too high. Recession is coming. This is the chairman of the Federal Reserve. He's saying recession is coming to America. Recession is coming to America, man. That's why Donald Trump is trying to take away the welfare system. He's going to take away the SNAP program. Okay? Welfare is going to be taken away, man. Your EBT cards, it ain't going to work, man. The free food that you've been getting, that's going to be cut off too, man. That's going to be cut off. All right? Um, yeah, what I was reading, yep. Yeah. It said, the nations have heard of thy shame. Damn! The nations have heard of that shame. Pushing gay laws, man, that's a shame, man. These other nations don't respect America, man. They don't respect America, man. 